Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to do another public service announcement and we're going to talk about Cocomelon Syndrome. Now I got to be honest with you, a few months ago I had never heard of Cocomelon Syndrome. I didn't know what it was, but I had adults coming up to me and saying, hey, I can't concentrate, I can't sleep at night, I'm losing it because I have this Cocomelon Syndrome, there's no cure for it, somebody needs to help me. And I'm like going, okay, but what is Cocomelon? And they said crack for kids. And I said, why are we giving kids crack. That doesn't make sense. But then about a month ago, I started to figure out because my grandkids started watching Cocomelon and this was their expression. Literally not taking their eyes off the screen. You can't have a conversation with them. You can't talk to them. It's like you're not even in the room. But then I started understanding what adults were going through because now I'm starting to get Cocomelon syndrome. If you haven't seen Cocomelon, it's about nursery rhymes. They have about 102 million subscribers, about the same as I do, but still 102 million subscribers. And these songs you can't get out of your head. Literally, I got five of them going on right now. I mean, trying to concentrate on talking to you guys, but I got five little monkeys jumping on the bed in my head. It's just insane. So what can we do to solve the Cocomelon syndrome? Now, I don't want to take it off the air because kids love it. They have 102 million subscribers on YouTube. Not the same as me, but 102 million subscribers. So we know it's popular. But how do we save the adults? Now, there is one thing that does bug me. I've been watching it for about a month now. Who is Cocomelon? I can't figure out who Cocomelon is. You got the baby. I think his name is JJ. He's got a yellow turd on his head. That drives me. The whole time I've seen it, I go, can they just wipe that turd off his head? It, it, it just drives me crazy. And then also you have... Baby JJ has the hugest vocabulary of any baby in the history of babies. So that bugs me too. But anyway, getting back to Cocomelon syndrome, what can be done about it? What can we do about it? So I'm urging you to contact the Congress and the Senate. Let's get this solved. Let's work together. And let's solve Cocomelon syndrome for all of us. Thanks for watching. I'll be back later on. Bye.